everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and the Star Weekly Angelic Message for the week beginning February 28th, 2022. So as of the recording of this video, Russia has just invaded Ukraine and um, a lot of innocent people are in trouble and the world is completely different as of today. As if we thought it wouldn't change much more as it has over the past couple of years, here we are. Now, I really feel like there's this imperative message here that anybody who's watching this, please remember that we all have our function in this world. Some people are supposed to help with business. Some people are supposed to help with politics or with war, you know, with the military and things like that. Uh, and then there are the rest of us that are supposed to be holding it down as far as sending light energy out, sending love, focusing on peace, and focusing on the protection of innocent people. So we're going to start off this message with that. Now I am going to be filming a, a peace meditation. So please make sure that, you know, once that premieres, I'll be, when it premieres, I will be meditating with you. Uh, and then please make sure that you come back to that every single day and put your heart light out there. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, like my eye is twitching. It has been twitching ever since news of this started coming out. People are in trouble and we have to do what we can as people who understand energy and understand this part of being human. Not everybody accepts it and that's okay. But um, keep it pure, keep any resentment out of it, uh, any aggravation, try to, you know, again, it's not about being in denial here, but it's about making sure that we are, you know, focusing that energy in a way that can be helpful. Okay. So make sure you are doing that. And I'm hearing stay alert. Be very, very alert. Um, hmm. There are a couple of different things that could occur here, depending on how it really, I hate to just make it like this, but it's, it's very much an energetic thing, or at least that's the part I'm supposed to be delivering. If people go into fear and they feel disempowered, it's going to get worse. Okay. It's going to get way worse. And of course, people who are right there at the front lines, they're going to be in fear. But if we start turning it around, getting into your heart space, I mean, this is it. This is what we have been going through our ascension process for. This is, I mean, this is one of many things that occur in the world, but um, this is the sort of thing where it's our turn to step up in the way that we do, yes? So this would be a time that whatever you have on your plate, whatever's stressing you out, whatever's upsetting you, sit in meditation and clear or go get support in the way that can help you work through that because just like before, it's all hands on deck here, okay? Now, as I do, just because this is the nature of the kinds of videos that I put up here, I'm going to be pulling some cards here. You can take them in a personal way. Um, I, I think this is going to be pertaining to the world, but they are say, uh, saying stay alert. So let's just dive into the cards. Oh, got a card coming right out. Uh, I do want to mention, I was going to announce this anyway, I have changed the format of the personal readings that I offer. 30 minutes has always been the most popular reading time. And so I just simplified it, took it down to one 30 minute offering. You can specify whether you want an angelic reading or an Akashic Records reading. All the details are on my website at angelsouls444.com. And of course, I do have courses over at gumroad.com slash angelsouls. All right, so the card that kind of fell out of the deck, didn't fling out, but fell out. Six of Michael, it's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation or travel. See, when we're talking about when there's a bad situation and we're going to steer the energy away from it, we're going to move it away from whatever the heck this is based on. We're going to move it away from that, Okay. And please do not, you know, get wound up. How do I want to say this? Don't get wound up in the surface level things. Again, there are people out there that's part of their purpose to help educate us on that. But 
if you are what we call a light worker, a light bearer, you know, a spirit warrior, this is what we need to do. We need to be focusing, you know, this is like the six of swords. So we take these very cerebral ideas, these very surface level happenings, and we make sure that we contend with that energy and hopefully get it moved into a cleaner place. And of course, Michael's all about protection. So this would be a time to be working with Archangel Michael and sending protection out to others. Oh, oh, okay, okay. We're gonna take them. Here we go. We've got the sun, Archangel Uriel. Life is wonderful. Okay, so this is, again, this isn't about being in denial and pretending like things aren't happening, but this is like, no, switch it around. Turn it. Be a light in this world. That's what this is saying. Okay, life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. So as we pray for protection and to bring light in, and love into this situation, we have to be praying in the affirmative. Okay, so not out of desperation, Please, God, please, God, please, God, please, God, be bright about it. Be positive. Be grateful. Thank you, God, source creator, for protecting. Okay, so we have Ace of Gabriel, a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration, the chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. So this is very much bringing life force into it. Look at this. Here's why I'm kind of like, oh my gosh, because something about everything that's going on, and this could be a personal message for all of you because we have changed your life here. This is life changing, obviously, but it is giving, it's giving a sort of new life, giving birth to a new situation. So I feel like there is something that's going to come out of this that is sort of the final housekeeping part of it. It's sort of like we, we all tried to move on. We all tried to think like, okay, all is well, but we're seeing what's possible. We're seeing what's possible. And so this is going to help us have some awareness and create a whole new situation. So there could be things that come out of this where there are different systems in place. Um, okay, so I, there's a feeling of like old structures get new life, okay, kind of get reborn. So I don't know if that's like an old law, an old treaty, you know, whatever that needs to be revamped. Gabriel's all about communication. Okay. So there's some huge message that we are learning through this and it's in a really harsh way. <laughs> okay. Obviously it's in a harsh kind of way, but we can get through this and it is about communicating. So I really feel, so not only is this changing things, and, you know, we're having to give birth to a new situation. But in order to move away from this terrible energy that could really and is harming people, uh, we need to bring light in and watch our words. Watch our words. Okay. Pray in the affirmative. Thank you, God, source creator, for the protection. Thank you so much for helping us find peace. Thank you so much for this, that, and the other. Okay. Then we have the wheel, Archangel Jeremiah. So Jeremiah is all about life review. And that might be part of this lesson that we're learning where we're stopping, seeing what's here and going, we haven't come as far as we thought. How is this still a thing? And that's what it is. And I almost want to say, how is war still a thing? Really? Are we still doing this? Yeah, we are. And that might make some people laugh and say, well, that's just a part of life. Maybe that's part of the problem, how we communicate to ourselves and say, that's just how it is. Complacency got us into big trouble before. It can't happen again. All right. The wheel, Archangel Jeremiah, new beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. <sighs> change in direction. Now, again, I wouldn't take these cards literally, obviously, <laughs> right? But this is like something is having to get exposed. Something has been very behind the scenes this entire time. And in order for us to move away from it, it needs to be exposed, okay? Things need to turn around, or as you wanna see like the wheel turning up. All right, I'll just toss those over there. I'm kind of bound by my microphone, okay? <laughs> Change your life, Archangel Shamuel. A sudden revelation, there it is. A sudden revelation that offers freedom. Break free of procrastination. That's another huge one. Embrace the opportunities that change brings. So this feels like this has been a long time coming. Uh, and again, if, the, if you're listening to this 
having to do with something going on in your own life, because it could, there's double message here, okay? Uh, there's a sudden, why am I doing this to myself? Or in the world, why didn't we take these steps? Or why did we try to appease so much? Or um, why did we wait on this? Definitely, there is a huge message here to not wait when it comes to the world, okay? Um, yeah, actions will be limited. Let's get, I have another set of cards here, so let's get some more cards. So there will be, again, it's just a huge, revelation is, that's the word. That's the word, revelation. Didn't know it was that bad. Didn't know people were suffering that much. Surrender and expression. Okay, when we're talking in terms of war and a surrender card comes up, that makes me wonder who's surrendering. So there is that. Um, and then expression, that goes along with this Gabriel card, okay? Talks are not done. There will be more talks, which might lead to a surrender. Now, if again, on a personal level, this could be you talking things out, getting things out in the open. It's all about getting more information. Wow. Okay. Kindred spirits, and this one wanted to come out too. <laughs> So here's the kindred spirits, and then this one flung off the top of the deck. They're very active today, these little cards. Two of Gabriel, make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision, and then kindred spirits. We cannot let our fellow humans down, okay? For many of us, especially if you're attracted to this kind of video, you are meant to help bring peace and light into the world. And that isn't so that you look good, right? <laughs> you got to be careful we're not uh, stepping into our egos too much here. But this is very much a message of we all need to stick together, okay? And we need to be pulling, especially for the innocent. That's a big message around this. Okay. Ah. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> got a couple of them. Popping out here, green, revitalize your nervous system. The number is 31. And lavender, connected body, mind, and soul. The number is 44. This is 100% saying stay calm. Stay calm. Because getting um, all excited about it, um, meaning like uh, anxious about it, um, getting all up in arms about it, getting distracted. Do you know what I'm saying? Stay calm. Stay focused. Let me just sit with this for a second. I mean, obviously, certainly watch out for the children. Make sure you're sending extra love to the kids. Just like all the wars we've known before and all the countries and all the innocent people that have been affected by other people's choices, um, children, this is becoming a part of their childhood. And... I feel like the kids don't even know how bad it is yet. None of us know how bad it is yet. But certainly, we're going to come out the other side. But we need to be diligent. And being diligent means be diligent about what kind of energy we're putting out there. Okay? So we're going to leave it there. As always, I'm sending you all so much love and take care. <music>